This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review, heard in the Crude Life Media Network. On today's episode, we talk with Justin Kringstead with the North Dakota Pipeline Authority about the future of natural gas and crude oil transportation by pipeline in the Bakken oil fields. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Justin Kringstead with the North Dakota Pipeline Authority, right here on the Mondak Oilfield Review. It seems everywhere I go these days, someone is telling me about the success of Hatch Coaching. Listen to what professional speaker Mark J. Lindquist has to say. He is a person in this market and now in markets across the country with Hatch Coaching that is revolutionizing the way people approach the business. He's reinventing the way people look at the people model. That's why he brings in hundreds of people from all over the country who are trying to figure out how to do what he's doing in their market. For more information, call 701-212-1572. Or visit coachingwithhatch.com. That's coachingwithhatch.com. Welcome back to the Mondak Oilfield Review, heard on the Crude Life Media Network. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Justin Kringstead with the North Dakota Pipeline Authority. Uh, when we look at all that investment from a dollar perspective, uh, roughly about $1.7 billion just on gathering and processing slated to come online here in the next year and a half. So a uh, substantial reaction from the industry to, to, to help address this challenge. Again, it, it's something that has always been challenging for North Dakota. The, the real root cause, again, is the, the well, the technology are performing much better than the systems that were originally designed uh, to handle. So the, the engineers and the, the pipeline companies, the systems they built with all the best intentions and knowledge base have an appropriately sized system technology uh, pushed the envelope uh, much faster than anyone anticipated. So production was coming out at much higher volumes uh, than those systems were, were capable of handling. And so we're in a situation now of expansion and, and new builds, and we expect that to continue for many years to come. That's going to make quite a dent. Uh, isn't one like One Oaks um, pipeline that they're putting in there? Is, it, is, is that going to allow for more? crude oil to be shipped out? Because I kind of see where that, you know, that flaring uh, edict, if you will, by the Industrial Commission kind of is a checks and balance on how much crude oil can be pumped out of the Bakken on a daily basis. You know, the governor wants to go to two, two million barrels. Well, we got to get the natural gas side in order in order to make that happen. Is that is that a fair statement? It is fair that, that ensuring that the, the companies are, are meeting the regulatory requirements, especially on the gas side, in order to continue to produce on uh, the oil side of the, the revenue stream, which for the vodka and Three Forks, for the vast majority of the economics are, are made on the, the crude oil right. side of the play. And so um, so the companies do, however, need to continue to invest in, and make sure they're monetizing the remainder of that value and that natural gas stream. To listen to the full-length interview with Justin Kringstead with the North Dakota Pipeline Authority or to listen to other Mondak oil field reviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak Oil Field Review is part of the Crude Life Media Network. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. All those links can be found at thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. From the staff of the Mondak Oil Field Review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to keep calm and frack on. Mm-hmm.